Multiplying and dividing rational numbers. The rules for multiplying and dividing rational numbers is the same as multiplying and dividing integers. If it's the same signs, the answer will be positive, and if the signs are different, the answers will be negative. Evaluate negative 5 and 2 tenths times positive 7 tenths. Let's estimate first and change this to negative 5 times 1 which would be an answer of negative 5. So whatever our answer is in the end should be very close to negative 5. And a negative times a positive is a negative. When you multiply decimals, you just forget about the decimals and multiply 52 times 7. And that's going to be 364. The answer is going to be negative. And we got to count the decimal places in the original problem. And we have two decimal places in the original problem, so we have two decimal places in the final answer. So the answer is negative 3 and 64 hundredths. Find the quotient of negative 1 and 44 hundredths divided by negative 2 tenths. Let's start by estimating, and let's round this to negative 1 divided by negative 2 tenths. 2 tenths goes into 1 five whole times. And negative divided by negative is a positive, so the answer is positive 5. And our real answer should be close to that. Let's divide the original problem. We have 2 tenths goes into 1 and 44 hundredths. We don't typically have a divisor with a decimal in it, so we move it over one time to turn it into 2 whole. And we have to do the same thing to the 1 and 44 hundredths. So we're really dividing 2 into 14 and 4 tenths. 2 goes into 14 7 times and then 2 goes into 4 tenths 2 times. We bring our decimal straight up. We find our answer is 7 and 2 tenths. The answer is positive just like our estimate. Here we have negative 1 and 2 thirds to the third power. Let's start by estimating. I'm going to round this to negative 2 to the third power. That means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And that's going to be positive 4 times negative 2, which gives us negative 8. Now let's find the answer to the original problem. We're going to do negative 1 and 2 thirds times negative 1 and 2 thirds times negative 1 and 2 thirds. When you multiply mixed numbers, you need to change them to improper fractions first. So this is really going to be negative 5 thirds times negative 5 thirds times negative 5 thirds. And that equals negative 125 over 27. Negative 125 27 is improper. 27 goes into it four times with a remainder of 17 27. So the final answer is negative 4 and 17 27. Negative 1 and 1 fifth divided by a quarter. Let's estimate. That's going to be negative 1 divided by a quarter. Well, how many quarters go into 1? 4. So the answer is negative 4. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. Now let's find the real answer. We can't use this mixed number. We need to change it to an improper fraction. So negative 1 and 1 fifth is negative 6 fifths. And we divide that by a quarter. So we change 25 hundredths to a quarter. Remember, to divide fractions, you need to multiply by the reciprocal, or KFC, which means keep the first fraction, flip the second one, and change divide to multiply. And then you multiply. The numerators become negative 24. The denominator becomes 5. Then you simplify it because this is an improper fraction to negative 4 and 4 fifths.